Faith in politics. Should you separate them or should you live them? Whoa, there's a question for us. It's Mike Lawrence, lead pastor here at Faith Community Church, and we have another social cue. So I get this question often, like, shouldn't I separate my faith from my politics? And honestly, I think it's impossible to separate your personal faith from your personal politics. Because I think that politics is the expression of our ethics. What do we do with politics? We ask questions like, what should we value as a society? And how should we treat the people in our community? And what is just? And what is fair? And what is right? And shouldn't everybody experience in that? And how do we distribute goods? And how can we prosper in our community? And how do we relate to people who aren't a part of our community? Those are ethical questions. And faith informs our ethics. It teaches us how to treat people. It's all over our scriptures. Here's just, just one example from the very beginning of the Bible. I'm going to read you a passage. It's out of what we call Genesis, the very first book. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. That's a statement about gender equality. That's a statement about the value of humanity and how we separate ourselves from the rest of the created order. I mean, think of all the implications from that one passage. It's about should we, how should we value life? What are the laws around abortion, euthanasia, and, and how should we be engaged in people in improving the quality of their lives? It talks about laws around gender equality, right? This is, you know, women having the right to vote. This, the suffragist movement that's coming all the way up to laws and business about how we should treat our employees to, uh, how people should be treated in the justice system. If we're all, if we're all made in the image of God, male and female, and how do we respond to global crises in the world around us and the way that other governments treat humans and the way that humans experience natural disaster and what should we do about our generosity as a nation and for the people in our nation as well? All these things are political ideas based on ethics that are informed by faith. Now here's an experiment. I bet you had assumptions about my views on all those categories, even though I didn't state them, because you took my religious context into, those, into that discussion. And I bet if you thought about it carefully, the way you feel about it has some religious information behind it. So here's the thing. I think it's impossible for a person to separate their faith from their politics, right? It's their political ideals, their decisions, and their actions it's informed by their faith. I think the struggle isn't should your faith inform your politics. I think the question is, or the struggle really is, is how, does, how do we express our political ideas, decisions, and actions through our faith? Because that's where I think Christians get into a lot of trouble, right? I mean, this is where it caused problems. Honestly, over the last couple of years, think about it. Christians have gotten into the destruction of personal property and protests. Christians have gotten involved in the invasion of federal buildings. They've threatened people and made them afraid. Christians in social media, we berate, we ridicule, we demean, we humiliate, and we attack people on social media because of our political ideals. And so we allow our politics to distort our faith in the way that we express it. When we do that, here's the problem. I think we compromise our character. I think we affect Christ's reputation because I think people look at Christianity, at Christ, at faith, at churches from the example of other people. And I'm really sorry for that because that's like a family getting into a fight at a food court in a mall. It's embarrassing and shameful. I really think faith should inform your politics. However, I don't think your political expression should compromise your Christian faith. That's the real challenge. And maybe we'll talk about that in another social cue. Hey, you know what? If this was helpful, you could like this. You could subscribe to our YouTube channel for more cues. You could put a question down below in the comment that we could address in the future. Honestly, these questions, you should really discuss these in a faith community like ours. That's what we call a Faith Community Church. So honestly, pop over to our website, follow the link, and join our community.